Welcome to the Pet Show Case, uh, presented to you by the Sun Valley Animal Shelter in Glendale. We have another real nice program today showing you some of the cats and dogs that are available for adoption. And I have with me here Cheryl Ann Trim. Uh, she will tell you about the dogs and we'll go right into the dog showcase. Go ahead. Thank you, Al. And thank you for tuning in today. We really appreciate it. And today we're starting the show with Philly. And he's a cute little terrier mix. He's about four years old. And this poor little guy was a stray animal. So somebody found him wandering the streets, brought him into our shelter. And Ooh, oh my goodness. A little coughing smell Oh my goodness. Here. Turn around so everybody can see you. And he's just a great little guy. He walks pretty well on a leash. He's got lots of energy for a four-year-old. So he's just out of puppyhood. Right. And he's just looking for that forever home. He's already been neutered, has his shots, microchipped. Um, if this little guy had been microchipped, he would have found his right. home or his, his mommy and daddy already. So instead, uh, we have him. And um, he's, he's just a, a great little guy. He doesn't shed a lot. He'll probably just need some brushing. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think he's going to need professional grooming because I think this is it. I see he's intrigued by the cats that are roaming around here. He <laughs> is. So who knows? Yeah. Probably not good with cats. Well, but maybe. I like his little yeah. white tip on his tail. Too. He it's might be just cute. be friendly with the cats. That so. could be. We don't yeah. know. His cage card says yeah. we're unsure. Is he uh, okay with small children, you think? Uh, I think he will be able to right. be okay with small kids. Uh, he does like a lot of the other dogs here at the shelter, so he's very friendly. Yeah, he's a fantastic <laughs> yes. dog. What's, what's this coughing business, huh? Okay, yeah, well, so thank come you very on much out, for showing Ask him. for Philly. He's a great little guy. That's a really nice mm -hmm. animal. I like that dog. Yeah. Oh, look at now this Now, here's one. a beauty. Now, this is an unusual This dog. is Lucy. Lucy. And Lucy has a little bit of a story. She's a purebred dachshund, but she's a white and blue merle dachshund. Wow, and I've the never merle heard of that. is the pigmentation. All this white, most dachshunds right. are not white. So it's the pigmentation, and they're born this way. Hmm. And with merle dogs, they can be blind and or deaf. And in Lucy's right. case, she's deaf. Oh, she's deaf. So yes, so she mm -hmm. can't hear a thing. This is a genetic. She was born right. that way. Uh, she's three years old and she was surrendered to us. She had an elderly owner that could no longer care for her. So she felt, I'm going to take her to Sun Valley Animal Shelter where she'll get a really good home. Check this out. Oh my she's gosh. loving this. <laughs> so she's really, really sweet. And just because you have a deaf dog, that doesn't mean that they're, that it's you can't handle them. Uh, they learn certain sign languages. I have a 14 year old that's deaf, my dog, and right. she knows certain commands just by me pointing or sure. just giving her certain commands. So don't let that uh, make you say, oh gosh, I don't really want to adopt this dog. Great little dog. And her tail goes constantly. Oh, She's got yeah, a yeah, ton yeah. of energy. So <laughs> yeah, don't let her see. size or her deafness uh, fool you. She's got a lot of get up in yeah. her go, let me tell you. Yeah, I got a cat that has gotten old and she is mm -hmm. now deaf. Sure. And actually nothing's changed. No, and not at all. I just have to be careful and when I let her go outside, I stay with her because... Right. That, and you have to make uh, some adjustments when you yeah. have a deaf dog or a blind dog yeah. for that matter. But they find their food with their nose. <laughs> That's <laughs> all that counts. <laughs> that is true. That is true. They do. But she'll make a great companion yeah. for somebody. So come on out. Ask for Lucy. She's three years old and yeah. she's She's just adorable. That's a very rare situation. It is and very a, rare. A nice dog. Oh, yeah. now we have Mika. Mika. And Mika is her cage card says she's a Jack Russell mix, but something tells me she's got a little more rat terrier in her right. than Jack Russell. So she's just about a year old, and once again, um, a surrender. The family couldn't right. handle her activity. Her acti activity level is very, very high. And uh, she's, because she's got Jack Russell in her, Jack Russell Terriers, they're known for uh, a lot, lots of high energy. So when you're adopting a dog, you've got to make sure you do your homework. And as we say on the cage cards, bone up 
on <laughs> the information <laughs> of the type of dog you're yeah. wanting to adopt because this family couldn't handle her energy level and so they uh, decided to surrender her. Yeah. So you've got to do your research and make sure that this is going to be right. the dog for you. That's an important point. We don't say it often enough. Right. But, uh, you have to understand the breeds uh, that you're adopting, especially when they're a puppy because that, that doesn't translate into what they're like when they're an adult. That is true. And so it's very important to do that, to get a good uh, connection. With and because them. she's under a year, just about a year yeah. old, she's still got a, a, another year or two of puppyhood in here. So in her. So she'll need lots of uh, TLC from you and patience and you just can't leave them alone. Just because you get a dog from the shelter and just because you see them and think, oh gosh, they're a year old, doesn't mean they know everything. It takes time for yeah. them to adjust to the household right. and you got to be patient with them. Give them a week or two to adjust to their new environment. Yeah, that's another important point. Uh, most people overlook that fact mm -hmm. and you really uh, have a problem if you don't understand it. Uh, puppies are totally different than adult dogs. They take, puppies are like toddlers. They take, yeah. uh, you've got to constantly watch them and supervise them. You can't let them be alone or they'll just get into all kinds right. of mischief. And that's fun too. <laughs> <laughs> so come on out and ask for Mika. She's just beautiful with that black head. I just yeah. love it. Very okay. distinguished looking. Very distinguished, yeah. yeah. Oh, here comes a fluff ball. Oh my gosh. Look at this guy. Oh. Isn't he cool? He's like a slipper with legs. <laughs> this yeah, is Fabio. Is. And Fabio is three years old. And again, this was a stray. Mm. Oh, no, no, no. He's not a stray. He was a surrender. Again, he was one that has so much energy, his family couldn't handle him. He's mm. a Lhasa Opso mix. So right. he's definitely going to need grooming. Right. Look at his hair oh, here. Yeah, he had a little bit of a doggy makeover, so that's why he's so handsome and fluffy right now. Makeover. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> um, but he uh, definitely will need brushing and he'll need professional grooming probably every eight to right. ten weeks because his hair is so fine. Yeah. Uh, he'll get matted. And I've said this before on the programs, they get matted uh, behind their ears, on their feet, yeah, the over. under area, and, and it's uncomfortable for them. So. Keep that yeah. in your mind with your budget. Um, you know, he's a handsome uh, looking guy, but it's also gonna cost you more to have him than say the dog we just had, Mika, because right. Mika needs no grooming, and right. Fabio's gonna need grooming every eight to 10 weeks. Yeah, that's very important to keep in mind for these dogs. Boy, he's an active one here. He is, and he does okay on a leash, so he, he's gonna definitely need some grooming, uh, some, uh, um, uh, what do I wanna say? A uh, training, training, so that yeah. uh, that he obedience does okay. Training, Thank yeah. you, Al. Obedience training, and I understand that he does. Uh, he's partially housebroken, as are most of the dogs that we've shown so far. They are partially housebroken because they're surrender animals. So that's a good thing to have some an animal that's yeah. partially housebroken. Got real soft. Fur he too. does. That's, that's why I say nice. he's a slipper with legs. He's yeah. really cool. <laughs> they're nice for the cold winter. Yes. Put your feet on them. So come on out. <laughs> ask for Fabio. He's three years old. Okay. Thank you. Well, he is a fluff ball. Okay, oh, now we have one, one of our designer breeds. Designer you know how I am breeds. with the designer breeds. Oh, what is it today? <laughs> this one is a porky. A what? A porky. What do you a think a porky. porky is? He is a pug and Yorkie mix. <laughs> a porky. And oh, he yeah, is yeah, just yeah. a love uh, yeah, bug. Yeah. He's so adorable. He's a year and a yeah, half. Yeah, I know you want to kiss him. He yeah, came in that. with his sibling and his sibling got adopted but poor peanut his name is peanut he's still here so we don't know why peanuts has not been adopted he's really really sweet he likes the oh, other yeah. dogs at the shelter very friendly he dog. walks very well on a leash and we're not sure why he's getting looked over so i thought we've got to put him on the show and maybe this will help uh, people see him and go gosh this guy's kind of handsome well, and a lot of problems are because when they're in the kennel they're totally different personalities and we they take them are outside. sometimes they'll bark at you yeah, and they, sometimes they'll they back up the, yeah back yeah. up but uh, you need to see them in a different light yeah. oh, oh thank you yeah. thank you oh, oh you're gonna, goodness you're i got kisses kiss her from instead you. of yes. me <laughs> <laughs> Are you jealous? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Peanut. He's about a year and a half, and he'll just need yeah. brushing. I don't think he's going to need professional grooming unless you just wanted to make him all the way short. Right. It's not necessary. He sheds very little, so that's nice. Right. Um, so you just take him on walks and play with him. And he's also partially uh, house trained. He does well in a crate. So again, those are nice things to, yeah. to know about some of these dogs, that they do well in those conditions. And a lot of people like to crate train their animals. Yeah. That way when you go to bed at night, the dog knows to go into their crate and sleep. 
Yeah. And then that way they won't get themselves into any kind yeah. of trouble. And you have trouble. to want a lively guy. This guy is lively. Yes. So. He's got lots of energy. Yeah. All right. So come you. on out, ask for Peanut. Peanuts. Boy, he is a lively one. <laughs> oh, and and this is our cutie. last one. This is little Bianca. And she's about three years old. She is another designer breed. She is a Choweeny. Chewy. Now, we had Chewinies on last program. We did? Yes. <laughs> You've forgotten. I've forgotten. She is a Chihuahua Dachshund mix, and she has been fostered, so she's doing much better now. Uh, she's very frightened uh, in the beginning, but she, I like it. She's got the one ear up, the one ear kind of yeah. sideways. Uh, but she get, does well with other dogs. Mm. Uh, she's used the doggy door. She's slept in the bed. Uh, she's really come out of her shell. And this is as big as she's going to be. She's about seven, eight pounds. Just a wonderful little dog. Does really well on a right. leash. And the fact that she likes other animals, that's a huge plus if you have another animal in your yeah. home and you want to have Bianca come be part of your family. Well, thank you for showing us Bianca. I just want to make a final comment. Uh, this is the end of our dog showcase. Uh, we have designer breeds. <laughs> yes, I'm, we do. And I'm finding out about them, even though I've been around dogs forever. Whoops. So anyhow, we'll be right back. Stay where you are, and we'll have the cat showcase. If you want to adopt one of the animals you see right here on this program, contact the Sun Valley Animal Shelter at 623-872-7941, or visit them online at sunvalleypets.org. So, I'm kind of new here, but I've noticed a trend. My human does this funny thing where she goes around and gets all my toys, and then she hides them in that basket by the door. You know, but it's always the same basket, and it's always in the, in the same place. And then she acts so surprised when I find them, but, you know, she's putting them in the same basket. Again. It's like, hello? That's where you put it last time. You were the worst at hide-and-go-seek. Welcome back. Second part and third part of our program is involving a lot of cats. So anyhow, we are going to talk about uh, these animals coming up and let me know uh, what's going on with the cats. Okay. Our first guest is Star and she is definitely a long-haired tortie. Um, torties are mostly black and orange right. with some white in there, but mostly black and orange and tan. She is a sweetheart. She has been here for a little while, so we sure would like to have her find a home. She has a tendency to hide sometimes, <laughs> but um, that happens sometimes with oh, some yeah. of our cats. She is a spayed two-year-old female, and she does get along with the other cats. It's just that she chooses to go into like right. these little cubby holes behind us, right. but um, she would love to have a nice home. She was um, Found, abandoned by uh, her family and some neighbors found her and brought her in and said she needs to be here she needs to find a new forever family right one thing about cats uh, when I think of it I might mention they have a tendency to want to find hiding places in your home and uh, so don't be surprised if you never had a cat and you adopt one and you say where'd that cat go it could be <laughs> almost any place uh, my cat 14 years uh, I still find her in places I don't expect her to be, yeah. so that's not unusual. Well, she's a sweetie, but again, we have lots of cat trees and cubby holes for these guys to hide right. in and, of course, climb in and everything. So we try to provide um, just about anything and everything we can think of to right. make a cat feel at home until their people or their new families come right. in. So she's very happy with you. Maybe you yeah, uh, should think about this. Well, yeah. I well. think so. I think you only have one cat, right? Yeah, don't yeah, don't uh, <laughs> don't remind people because I'm promoting two cats and then I only got one. I gotcha. Well, this is another spade female, 
Now she's a year and a half old, just slightly a little bit younger. Oh, oh they decided on, they didn't want each other. Okay. This is Lovey, and she was surrendered to the shelter also. Her family uh, had to give her up, but she's a beautiful, beautiful tuxedo, which means she's mostly black, and she has accents of white under her chin and her tummy, and then the four uh, black boots. Right. I mean, the white, four white, white boots. White boots, yeah. <laughs> and that's a um, characteristic um, of a tuxedo cat. She's very sweet. Now, she's good size. She's bigger than... Uh, bigger right. than star but um lovey is about a year and a half old she's been spayed has her shots and everything she uh is good in the room she actually came in with another cat so we know already that right. she's uh, comfortable living at home with uh in a multiple cat, multiple cat house, family yeah. so here oh my well, this goodness one, he is active too. well you know what before we started the show this is milo <laughs> and milo is a neutered male he is actually a year old, and he's going to be a really good-sized cat. Um, he is a black and gray tabby, but on, on white. So there's a lot of white here. He's a yeah. beautiful, beautiful cat. He was climbing all over these yeah, uh, climbers back here, just <laughs> having a gay time. Now we yeah. want him to be on the front, yeah. on the front podium. Milo actually came in with another cat, too. Uh, Milo is front declawed. He is one of our cats. We do look for declawed cats um, on surrenders because we hope that people um, that are looking for a new cat, if their preference is for declawing, we would much prefer that they choose a cat that's already been declawed. Um, we don't recommend it, but rather, the cats come in right. that way. That's well, sweet. there's alternatives at, in your home that you can use like double face tape, uh, squirt bottles, or um, there's even those little covers, little covers yeah. that you can put on their nails. And of course, keeping their nails cut short and having lots of uh, cat trees and scratching right. posts in your home will help a lot. But he is so sociable. He wants to greet everybody when they come in the door. Right. He's, I guess, maybe the designated greeter of the cat <laughs> designated room. Designated greeter. We got everything so, here. Yeah, he's probably going to take over this whole podium. But he's wonderful. He's going to be a good-sized cat, though, so you want to keep in mind. But um, certainly, uh, per a personality to fit. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to well, stay. He is something. <laughs> I know it. He's gorgeous. Why do you say that? So he's one years guy. old, you and his name is Milo. Milo, you got to make room for the next Another customer kitty. here. Yeah. Well, I can bring over to my We're side. We're going to go to we'll your see. side. Yeah. You get to hold. I'll get now it. this is Levine, and it's a female. She is uh, black and tan and a little bit of gray, I guess we would call her, but she's um, a tabby. Well, I know, you got a lot to say, but everybody's on the podium. <laughs> she's actually two years old. All right, he yeah, said, I'll yeah. give it up to her. Yeah, he found his It's a two-year-old spayed female. And again, she's a good size, short hair, yeah. um, but a beautiful, beautiful coat and yeah. beautiful markings. Um, she was actually brought in uh, by a woman that found her with a litter of kittens. So Lovey, I'm Levine, actually stayed in our community or our quarantine room with her litter of kittens for quite a while. Mm -hmm. And then um, as soon as her kittens and, and her could be weaned from each other, the kittens were spayed and neutered and put up for adoption. And now she's ready. She's ready for a nice home. Yeah, that's right. And she's, she's pretty big, so you have to keep that in mind. She's good size also, yeah, yes. That's all right. <laughs> but she is. She's very sweet. She was a good mom. And we had some just beautiful kittens with her. So right. we appreciated that. So our last. OK. Is the last cat coming? Has, let's take a look. Okay. at Now, this is Scarlet. And Scarlet is actually about seven months old. Once they get over six months, we move them out of the kitten room and bring yeah. them here into the community room. Scarlet is a red, what we call a red tabby. And she is, um, like I said, seven months old. She's got some white boots here that we can show off. And she was found and they, uh, the people couldn't keep her, but they um, brought her in so that we could have her. A lot of times we don't find female uh, red tabbies. They are unusual. There aren't that many. They're mostly males. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Oh, this is a beautiful animal. Yeah, she really is sweet. Yeah, yeah, sweetheart. How old is she? Was? She's seven months old. Seven months, well, yeah. Yeah, so after, after six months, then they graduate yeah, into this right. room. Hopefully they're uh, 
much more demure yeah. and not so crazy. <laughs> you, you huh? hope so. Not that they aren't going to test the older But cats. she'll be a nice sized cat. Yeah. She's oh. um, she's very very sweet and she does get along with the other cats here. Yeah. But she's she's a little bit past that little kitten stage <laughs> and uh, not quite the adult yeah. yet. So a, a tweener, uh, as they say. Huh? Yeah, probably a teenager, right? <laughs> a teenager, yeah. I guess. All right. Well, that was the last of our cats, but here come the kittens. Here come the little guys. Yeah. So this one is Tonka. And this little Siamese is called Mosey. And this little sweetheart over here is actually Etta. And um, Etta is a little tortie. She actually is probably going to be long haired or at least medium length hair. Mosey's going to be a short hair. He's actually a, uh, probably a blue point Siamese. Mm -hmm. And um, now the Tonka is actually a. Uh, a tuxedo again. Tuxedo again. Yeah, yeah. with the black yeah, body and the then tuxedo. the white under the chin and tummy yeah. and the little white feet. So sure. they're liking this. Yeah. They're saying, hey, this is a new place to be. Yeah, this one should have been named Motorboat for her. <laughs> She's purring <laughs> right. like crazy. Exactly. These are all right around four months old. And like with all of our kittens, they seem to be found everywhere. And people um, grab them and bring them in here. Normally, these guys don't have moms. Mm -hmm. And um, we, we're very careful to make sure that they are eating uh, and getting along okay without having a mom right. with them. But these guys would be wonderful additions for the holidays. That's right. They're even, looking for homes. Even two or three of them at once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so these two are short hairs. Oh, look at you. You want to just play. This guy just wants to go down. What, don't you like me? He huh? says he wants to play. How come you don't like me? So we hope that um, we hope that some of you will have some room in your homes for these little uh, these little playthings. They are so funny, <laughs> and um, they'll be a wonderful addition to your home. Yeah. And of course, uh, at this young stage, they'll learn uh, to get along probably with dogs, right. other cats, and children. So they'd make wonderful pets. Yeah. So come on and look at our kittens. Overall, we have quite a few. Don't quite we? a few kittens, males right. and females, colors. And fancy names. And fancy names, <laughs> right. And by the way, you can change their names. That's right, you can change your names. You certainly name. can. <laughs> I noticed there with cats, though, that we have, uh, you don't uh, give them fancy breed titles like with the dogs. We have all kinds of designer oh, dogs. Oh, the designers, yeah. <laughs> well, now we do run across, you know, the Siamese, different, different right. uh, point Siamese. And of course, this is a tuxedo, well, so it has a special is, is name. really kinda. wiggling. Yeah. Hey, you're so supposed <laughs> he to really he show to yourself to the audience. So our kittens are in a separate room, and you certainly can come in and see them. Um, the cats, on the other hand, you can actually come into you're the right. room and sit with them and spend some time with them. Um, if the kittens are your preference, then we have you fill out an application, and then after that you can go in and sit. Okay. So thank you. We All hope right. to see you over the holidays. Get, get these wigglers here in tow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We always do three because that <laughs> makes yeah, you, yeah. keeps you busy. You know, when we do the cat showcase, uh, Tony here, she's, she's pretty <laughs> slick. She started off with one kitten, then we had the right. kittens, and then slowly evolved into two. Now we got three. Right. And I don't trust you entirely. The way Probably next four. year we'll go to four. <laughs> right. So anyhow, thanks very much for uh, talking about our cats. And that concludes our cat showcase. And uh, in about a minute or so, we'll come back with a very interesting program for you for the finale. If you want to adopt one of the animals you see right here on this program, contact the Sun Valley Animal Shelter at 623-872-7941 or visit them online at sunvalleypets.org. Abandoned and lost. From the dark, cold streets of the city to a cage in the local shelter to heaven, your lap. If you're looking for a fun new friend, what a day. Shelters are the best places to find one. 
You don't say. Uh-huh. There, you'll discover healthy, happy, loving animals. Nothing but the best. Waiting to become a part of your family. A person is the best thing to happen to a shelter pet. Be that person. Adopt. We'll always be the best of friends. To find out more, visit the shelterpetproject.org. Welcome back. I have a very interesting person as a guest today. Uh, many of you uh, may be aware of the fact that we've ar arranged to have a hospital facility on our campus here, and uh, it is called the Sun Valley Hope Animal Hospital. And being the manager of that facility is Leanne Smith, and I have her here to tell you about nutrition and things that you need to know to have good nutrition for your cats and dogs. And so I'll let you take the program and I'll go appropriately as I may and once in a while and say a comment or two. So okay. go ahead. Hello. Um, so there's no doubt that pet nutrition is a building block um, to our pet's health. Right. Um, there are several different types of pet nutrition, um, several different diets that I kind of want to talk about. One of them is your store-bought brand pet uh, food and then you have um, raw food diets, and then you have boutique foods, and then you have your specialty diets. Mm. Um, I kind of want to touch base more on your store brand foods and raw food diets and your specialty diets um, today. Right. Um, one of the things I want to say is that your store brand foods are just as nutritionally sound as any pet food out there. A lot Recently, we've been seeing a lot of pets um, a lot of clients bringing their pets in for um, various needs, um, right. claiming that they're grain-free grain foods, right. having allergy problems, and you know they're switching to blue buffalo, wouldn't more your boutique foods. Right. Um, a lot of internet hype on a lot on of that, that yeah, food. I yes. imagine it was. Yeah. Yes, so there <laughs> is. Um, so I just kind of want to let people know out there that your store brand foods are just as nutritionally sound as any of your boutique foods yeah, out there. Yeah, as long there. as you buy a, a name brand, not some oddball brand, I think. Exactly. Yeah. A lot of your Purina. Yeah, Purina, yeah. Purina, Iams, Royal Canin, Science Diet are more your traditional right. foods. Yeah. Um, they spend billions of dollars every year researching their diets and making sure that right. every, they contain everything that the pet requires. Right. Um, so, and you know, boutique foods, there's a lot of them out there and they claim to do so much more than your store brought brand, brand foods um, containing more antioxidants and right. such like that. But reality is, you know, they don't. Yeah. They don't. Yeah. And, you know, it's just a lot of gimmicks, a lot yeah. of hype. So mm. another uh, problem is recently on the internet is, you know, table food, feeding your right. pet what you eat and raw food diets. Um, again, not safe, not, not, safe, yeah. not safe at all, not nutritionally yeah. sound because you can't prepare a good quality diet right. for your pet when you're cooking it yourself. Yeah. You don't yeah. know the mixtures that you need, you need your vitamins and such like that. Um, raw food diet is just not yeah. safe, period. Yeah, I, uh, I've known for a long time that uh, your human food, as I call it, is not really the right thing to feed your dog or cat. And uh, like you have said, any good name brand is balanced properly through long research on what they should have. So that should be good news to our audience. They, you don't have to buy a real expensive uh, designer <laughs> menu or anything like no. that. And don't feed them your table scraps. Uh, dog and cat food is not that expensive. There's a good variety of it. And uh, so that is the message for you. And I. Uh, I'm very happy you came on board today to discuss this with us briefly, and uh, well, sometime in the future we'll probably have you back again now that you've had your initial uh, introduction to television. So thanks very much, uh, and I, uh, I do appreciate it. So that's the end of our program, and we will hopefully see you in the future. <laughs>